Yeah. Ay. Hey, Spurs, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl T back in the cut. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new and you're watching this, I just want to say, hey, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. So on this channel, we focus on fashion. We focus on DIYs. We focus on sneakers. We just focus on creativity as a whole. So if you're into all of that stuff, make sure you stick around. So in today's video, um, this is really, it's not long awaited, but it is something I should have done in my video a long time ago. I can't lie. As like a sneakerhead. I don't know why I haven't filmed one. I feel like maybe low key it's because I've been trying to collect like my sneakers or build it up a little bit so there's actually something I can show you guys. There's no point in doing a sneaker video if your girl ain't got no sneakers. I'm gonna make sure to insert videos of the shoes on my feet so you guys can get an idea of what they look like on. Yeah, so make sure you guys like, share and subscribe. Hit that bell button to get notified and let's get straight into the video. Starting off with some big boys, probably one of my favorite trainers in my collection are the Jordan 1s. So in the colorway, white and red with a hint of like black here and there. Um, a size 9.5, 10. These are actually in a size, a UK 10. That's probably why they look big on camera. <laughs> so yeah, they're these. Hands out one of my favorite um, Jordan 1s. These were the first Jordan 1s I got. So like, they're really like my babies. They're precious to me. Just because, I don't know, since I was a kid, I've always wanted Jordan 1s. And it was never really something I thought I could afford or get. But God <laughs> said otherwise. And um, he grinded me, he allowed me, he gave me the money to get these bad boys. They're a little bit creased, guys. I can't lie, just a tiny bit creased. <laughs> All you hype bees, hype bays, don't come for me. I'm so sorry. They're a little bit creased, but these are definitely my favorite. I just love the color. Red is one of my favorite colors, so it was very fitting to get like it in the color red and it be my first Jordan, so it kind of all just made sense. It all made sense. If I can't remember the prices, I'll try my best to put them on the screen. These are my Jordan 1's fly knits. Um, these are actually in, I think, Royal Blue. And I saw these, I've mentioned in my other video, but I saw these on Melissa ward Melissa's wardrobe. And I was like, I need to have these. Like, they are so nice. But the material, I don't know, the flying, it just, it adds an extra detail, a different vibe to it. More flexible, the material is more flexible. And it allows more air to get into the shoe so it just means more comfortability i i believe so anyway and i also sourced these on ebay as well brand new they're a really nice pair of trainers to have in your collection um they're definitely like i, I believe they're one of the one of the most one of the most popular jordan ones that most people have in their collection they're very popular i know a lot of people have the blues and the grays of these um i personally like the blues I just like to stand out a little bit. So, yeah. So my last Jordans, Nike Air Jordans, are my mids. I'm personally like not really a mid girl. I'm, I'm, I'm a high girl, if you know what I mean. Lows really, not into mids. I'm definitely a high girl. But I saw these and I was just like, hmm. I mean, I'm not really into mids, but I kind of like, first of all, they were really affordable. So that's probably the wrong reason I got them. Two, I don't know, I just like the felt material at the front. And then I also like the fact that the sole, I mean, the midsole here had like specs on it. That kind of made me want to get them, even though I'm not really a mid girl. I was just like, why not? Um, in terms of comfortability, they're not the most comfortable. I don't know if that's because my feet are like, my feet are big. I don't know what it has to be. They're just really, really really narrow here and my feet are narrow but i don't know the shoes just narrow in general so it's not i wouldn't say you could wear it for a long like long duration or long time it's just not one of them shoes one thing you'll notice about me is that i'm like a high top girl i've always been a high top like i was that girl that was in love with pastries if you guys know pastries comment down below let me know if you know about pastry strainers and i was into them as well as jordans i was just that was like my thing growing up 
So I've always kind of been into trainers. So another pair of trainers that I really, really love and that I like probably the most iconic trainers you can ever own in your collection are the Converse's, these bad boys. If you haven't seen my unboxing video and review of these trainers, I'll put it over here or over here on my custom, my custom Chuck 70s. They look like this. I won't say too much because obviously I want you guys to watch the video. Converse's I had before, they were just really mucked up. I was like, okay, I want to get myself a new pair, some fresh pairs. Originally, like before I actually didn't have the 70s, which is probably why I used to always look at them and think, why isn't the sole that thick? I used to look at other people's and think, why does mine look so different? I've clocked, it just wasn't the 70s. I got myself a pair of those, but I wanted to add my own flair to them. They're those shoes that you just don't pick up straight away and you can just rock it with anything. So I'm definitely a Chuck Taylor girl, a Converse girl, like that's me all the way. So the next shoe I have is my RS X. These are in the colorway white with a hint of black and orange. I also did a review on my channel of these trainers, so if you want to watch that and get more details, then I'll put it here. The shoes are my most latest shoes to my collection. These are the Nike Shocks TL in the colour white and a bit of silver. When I first saw the Shocks, I was like, they're disgusting, they're hideous, why would anyone want to wear <laughs> those shoes? So when my brother put them on, because he has a pair in black, I was like, damn, these shoes are low-key, like, they, they, they hitting it, like, they're good. I decided to get myself a pair. I actually got it for like around, I think it was like £50. So normally these shoes range from like a good 100 to 180 But I got mine for half the price, which is the, and I didn't even, I got it in white. Normally white shoes tend to be quite expensive, but once again, your girl was able to get a bargain. So yeah, I picked up the white ones. I love the, I like to call it the bubble detail at the bottom. They remind me of, is it? And I feel like these work best with casual outfits like like a, a jog, joggers or like shorts or like jeans or something, maybe some mum jeans, stuff like that. I definitely wouldn't dress this up because it's just not a shoe that you would dress up. Personally, I wouldn't do that. Definitely a shoe that you would wear with casual looks. So the next shoes in my collection are the Nike 2K Zooms. These bad boys right here. I actually got these on sale. <laughs> I got them on sale for like I think £62 but it was really frustrating because even though they were on sale I remember like checking back a few months like after a few months had passed I checked again and then I think they got down to like a good like £30 because they were at the time they were really popular and they had they had like several different colorways like pinks blues and then the price just dropped and I was like Comment down below, does anyone feel some type of way when like their favourite shoes, like the prices just drop and then it makes you think like was the shoe like even that good? Because like when you're really deep at Air Forces, they never ever go down in price. Like maybe the cheapest they'll go is like 50. But in most cases they'll stay at that 70. But then like things like Stan Smith's, like they'll start selling them for like 20 pounds. You're like, mm, what does that say about the shoe and the quality? And the demand for it like it just makes you feel like okay maybe the shoe is not that hot and i'm not saying you should just buy shoes because they're trendy but then it does make you feel some type of way when you just purchased it um but yeah so these are the 2k the nike 2k zooms absolutely love these they're such they give me such 90s vibes i think it was um vintage doll Risa. i'll put a picture here she inspired me to get these i saw them on her and i was like honey this is the shoe this is giving me life the shapes like the the thickness of the stem sole like just everything the colors like yes next shoes are the night prestos in this really nice like wine color red back when i purchased these i definitely saw them as like a casual shoe like a, a shoe that you would wear just like on a general basis but then over time, I really just see them as running shoes, I can't lie. Um, I'm starting to realise that the shoe styles I like are definitely moving towards high tops, bad shoes, that sort of vibe. I'm not really into these like sporty shoes as just a general shoe. I just feel like they, I would just wear them for the gym or to do exercise. Because um, I'm not like I regret, but I definitely don't wear these 
I've only, I think, only worn these like twice or something. I definitely don't wear them as much as I should. Um, I think if it was black, I would probably wear them. But I just feel like it's not really my style anymore. Um, so I'd definitely be just wearing it to play sports or whatever. But I definitely still like the colour. I think it's really, really nice. And you'll probably see a pattern like a lot of the shoes I wear have thick soles. I'm just into thick soles. I know like you think because you're tall, you'll be like, why do you need a thick sole? But <laughs> I don't know. I just like it. I just like it. Um, really hard to walk in. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but certain shoes that they make, that have that aspect especially just for like running or just sports shoes they make their soles weird like such a weird shape and i i, sh I personally struggle i don't know if it's because i'm flat-footed probably because i'm flat-footed but i really struggle to walk in them so that's another reason why i don't tend to um draw towards them when i'm looking for a shoe to wear yeah some of the styles that i have i purchased them or the shoes i have i purchased them in uni so i'm still trying to figure out my like sneaker style trainer style i'm still trying to build up a collection for myself so as i'm looking at these trainers i'm just like wow like i definitely wouldn't wear some of these today or like i would i could definitely see that my style has changed so you're gonna see a lot of shoes that are like oh okay girl why are you doing this there's another trainer that is similar to the prestos that i just don't really wear anymore like that and i'm definitely wear them to do like running or whatever so these are khaki I think they're so, they're really cool shape. I definitely think that they will look great if you're like just working out. You're going on a run or walk. The color is like a really nice khaki color. Um, the material is really nice. It definitely it has once again that spec detail that my Jordans had as well. So next up, I have my Nike M2K Technos. My brother was nice enough to get these for my birthday. Like I really really wanted them and he got i think he got it for my it's my 19th birthday i can't really remember but, um so i got this and i'm i think he got it in a size he got it in a uk nine so obviously i'm a 9.5 so they are tight and i haven't i mean technically i should really be selling these but I don't know, they just look so nice. I'm just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna sell them. But I really should be selling them. So, feeling disruptors are disgusting, I know that, but these just are a nicer version, basically. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm the, I think my most favorite thing about these shoes is like this acrylic um, detail at the back. I don't know, I just think that's so sick. Like, it adds such a cool, like, dimension to the shoe. I fell into peer pressure of everyone wearing it and then I got it and then realized I actually don't like them because they remind me of sausage dogs. Yes, sausage dogs. I'm so sorry, but they remind me of sausage dogs. They just, like, it just ain't it. Like, no, no. Me personally, it doesn't really, it's not really flattering. It doesn't make my feet look nice. In fact, it makes them look like bulgy and just, uh, um, so that's probably another reason why I don't wear them. Again, a UK 9.5, US 10.5, Europe Europe 44.5. Then put down in the comments and I will sell these to you. Next up are my Boohoo shoes. I, I, I don't know, I don't think these have a name really. I just call them the Yeezy Dupes because I did a video on them. I'll put it here. And that's what I called them, so I'm gonna call them the Yeezy. I got this for 25 pounds. So if you're someone that is into trainers, um, and you're into building your collection, but you're not, you can't right now afford branded trainers, or you just you just don't have the money to afford them currently. I definitely say look at websites like Boohoo. Even though I don't really like Boohoo in terms of their quality, I definitely just like getting their trainers. So these are my Van checkerboard slip-on. Maybe the first few trainers that I got for myself. And like, I've always loved slip-ons um, just because they're literally easy to slip on and you just go. So these are the dupes of the Triple S, as I said, Balenciaga Triple S. They're a bit scruffy, sorry, I wear them a lot. <laughs> um, I just think they just go with everything. Like, it sounds crazy, but they literally go with everything they're just probably one of my favorite shoes and some may say oh this is ugly it's bulky what kind of shoe is this an alien shoe a shrek shoe how can you be wearing these shoes if you already have big feet how does that work 
it doesn't but I make it work okay I make it work and I love it I love it so much yeah and I, I, I like the fact that they're not completely white they have this really nice um, muted kind of cream color to them like different colors of cream from the white they have like this really nice suede material here which is cool and then once again you have that really thick sole so we have come to the end of the video in spurs yes we have come to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed that i i'm still still growing my collection i haven't even touched the surface yet with the trainers that i want and need like i still feel like i'm still like a baby a baby collector or baby sneakerhead because it's just like my shoes like i don't know like i mean personally i feel like i can there's certain shoes that like are required in a collection to say you're a sneakerhead that's why i said fake because it's like i feel like i'm not really there yet i'm slowly getting there but not there yet. and there's definitely shoes that i need to get but obviously shoes are not cheap shoes are hella expensive so i'm just taking my time i'm not rushing at the end of the day they're just materials they're not necessities you just buy these things because you want to and because you want to like wear them so i'm not in any rush but um slowly but surely i'll be building up my collection and i try my best to wear all of them it's not easy but i do try my best to wear all of them so it, they're, they're not just sitting there collecting dust because that would just be a waste of money um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some inspiration on what trainers to kind of purchase and what trainers to lean towards and not to lean towards i mean let me know in the comments um if you guys are sneakerheads if you collect trainers if you're trying to start a collection yeah let me know but stay beautiful stay blessed stay true and i'll see you in my next video Peace.